Hey guys, this is Dan again. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, sorry I haven't been uh, diligent about making videos of my first saltwater tank that I started in the, at the beginning of the year uh, because I've been mainly so busy with work and I haven't been adding that many things to the tank. I did however add two little corals uh, a couple weeks ago that I made a video but didn't, didn't get a chance to edit and post them and today I got a, some free time I went out to my local fish store and check out some of the stuff and I got a few things that I was going to include in this video uh, as well so the thing that I got last couple of, uh, weeks ago was this trumpet coral and it has this toxic neon green color to it and it's super super nice it matches with the uh, the uh, torch coral which has grown in hugely like it's huge difference since when I first got it when it was tiny I think it's probably four times the size at the moment and the tentacles are extremely long the other piece that I got was the mushroom cluster here uh, oh yeah the green trumpet was only ten dollars so it was hard to pass up with that beautiful color and all the Green, the mushroom cluster here, this piece here, I think I got it for $25 because there's like about five little mushrooms down there. And hopefully it will grow to big ones that I've seen in the fish store. Uh, so today I went to my LFS and I got a six line grass. I have seen it before and it looks super beautiful with its colors. So hopefully that will add more color to the tank. And I got another feather duster. Uh, the one that's in there right now looks really nice and it's doing well so I decided to get another one and put it over here uh, the other two thing I got is uh, two little bumblebee snails uh, it's pretty cute it's only like $2.50 each oh uh, yeah this feather duster is $15 the six line wrasse is $25 I also picked up this hammerhead uh, coral uh, this is kind of like a frag, but it's kind of a large frag and it costs $25. I also got these uh, new food here. I never tried this before. It's called Cyclopods. Uh, and like I said, I've been varying the diet of these fish uh, from time to time with different type of uh, uh, food, mainly for my curry because I trust that brand. Uh, like I said, like uh, I had uh, freshwater fish before and all the food that I've given to all my fish have been from Hikari. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna let these uh, acclimate in the tank uh, for a little bit. I'm gonna just let this float. This is the first time I actually have got a coral inside a little container. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna stick that probably this one in here somewhere uh, and I let it acclimate and come back and show you how it looks in the tank. Thanks guys, so I'll be right back. Hey guys, so it's been a little while since I acclimate the three new additions I have to the tank this week. And previously, like I told you, that I did make a, I made a video of adding the trumpet here, the trumpet coral, and also the mushroom um, rock here. But I didn't really post a video of it. So this is kind of like a combo video of the new things I've been adding to the tank since my last video, which is quite a while ago. So I decided to put the hammerhead here. So this is a small fragment, but it's so beautiful that I'm hoping that it will grow to be much bigger than it is because I've seen bigger specimens of it and they're spectacular so this i hope hoping this one will grow up to be as big as the one i've seen before the feather duster the new one i put it here because the other one that the original one that i got i left it i put it to the other side so it's going to be one on each side of the tank and i'm thinking of getting another one to put in the middle because they are super nice to look at the six line wrasse here, this tiny little baby wrasse that I've got, I've seen them much bigger in 
at the fish store previously. I got this one because it's it's very small, so I think it's a baby, and I'm hoping that it will grow up to be as big as what I've seen before at the fish store. And the colors on this guy is spectacular because uh, there's so many colors into on it. And if they have another one, I probably I will most likely get that one as well. And so here's my update to the tank. So previously, if you pay attention to my channel, this big coral stick has two types of corals on it, which is the green star polyps and also the zenia. The zenia was here and also in the back and here. And for like some reason whatsoever, uh, one day the Zenia suddenly start to shrivel and kind of like die out and this green star polyp start to eat eat it. It looks like it, it ate the whole Zenia. And if you look at the big stick now compared to my previous videos, there's no more Zenia here. There's a tiny little bit at the bottom there, but I think it's gonna be consumed by this green star polyps. The back is also gone. So I think I might in the future get another piece of rock that just have the Zenia on it because I think it's super cute because it's like little brown hands sticking out trying to grab food and stuff. Uh, the one most impressing thing I like about this tank is that torch coral which I thought it might have just died because the plant started to grow on it but it thrived and it actually grew so big now and it's like a huge life uh, it has like long tentacles on it which looks really cool and so I left the trumpet coral next to it because the colors are very similar so it enhances the tank and the orange shoot anthids here which I got a while ago when, she, when it only has like a couple of heads it grew so much now that it actually pretty much covered the whole pot that it was stuck on so I'm hoping to leave it there so that it will just grow all over the rock so imagine that in the future that this whole live rock here become like consumed with Zora orange so yeah, it's... <laughs> sorry. So that's my most updated thing. And the last update that I was gonna give you guys was not so good news. Is that so? I've started this fish tank with five clownfish, and they're pretty much babies when I got them. And so when I got five of them, they were behaving very normal, and they acted really nicely in a group and suddenly one of them jumped out and then it died so there's, there were four left and one of them became like a victim of bullying and so that one died from being bitten by the other three clownfish but in the last two weeks because of I think because of the hot weather in Boston here that two of them jumped out of the tank because I don't have a cover for this tank here and uh, so because of that I'm gonna look into getting a Red Sea Reefer 250 cover to prevent any fish from jumping out so currently of the five clownfish I got there's only one left and that's the main one so I talked to a few people and they said that I should wait and see how it goes before I'll add any more clownfish to the tank. Uh, they are super nice looking, uh, but it's not good to add it since this one is going to be super territorial because it's alone right now. And if I add any more, no, so quickly, this one might kill the other one. So I'm going to wait. So. Thanks guys for watching, 
and please subscribe to my channel even though I'm not diligent about making a lot of videos at the moment but I promise I will in the future uh, just because like I'm so busy with work and all I don't have much time other than cleaning up the tank and trying to keep these fish alive and growing so hope you guys will stick with me and I'll show you more of the tank uh, one thing I was thinking about earlier is that my tank even though it's a coral tank it doesn't have that many rocks yet so it's pretty bare and I will add more corals and rocks to the tank so if you keep up with me I will show you all that have a good night thanks bye